most men. Vinny, how do I keep up with all these games that you've been playing? You are bleeding my wallet dry. Or, Vinny, I don't have time to play all these games. Well, you could do what I do, which is just play an hour of each. But it would get expensive. This one's called Necrosmith. And yes, I'm showing off lots of stuff. And uh, something I enjoy a lot. This game just came out in July. 1,400 recent reviews. Very positive. Nearly 2,000 all time. And it's very positive. Excuse me. So this game is a necromancer simulator. But it's also garlicky. It's a 299 game. So maybe we should just call these 299 likes. But yeah, it was recommended. And, uh... Oh, that's me. And it seems like a fun game to play. I'll let you know. Brain printer? A machine that can make even a chair think about its life. Thanks to it, you're dead. Try to keep a distance... ...from enemies. What? I don't know. Uh, cat bed. There are things you can buy. I don't know what's going on. Arcane Enchanter. The dead can be revived on the Arcane Enchanter. Assemble the first dead by filling all the slots. Hang on, let me increase the volume a little bit. Some games are just naturally lower than others, so... Hover over a body part. Okay. Uh, Double-click the body part. Right. So we got... Oh, okay. Uh, you just need two legs. So we can do a sword, skeleton, or... Like a magic skeleton. Uh, revive the dead, the first dead. Now release your dead from the tower to explore the lands and collect resources. Collect an army. Assemble and revive four more dead. Experiment with combinations to see different results. I don't know if this is also an asset flip. But for 399 battle, your dead met its first enemy. It will attack automatically, but its attacks and survivability depend on the body parts used to build it. Enemy layers. Your dead found an enemy layer. It will automatically attack the layer until it is destroyed. The destroyed layer cannot generate new enemies. Well, we've got a crossbow skeleton. There we go. I can see where this is garlicky. Kind of like, uh,. For people who don't know what I mean when I say garlicky, I mean vampire survivors, obviously. Well, maybe that's not as obvious as it seems. Uh, another magic skeleton. A new day has begun. Every new day there will be new body parts in the tower, and all objects on the map captured by your dead will generate income. Oh. Lightning rod transforms the sky energy and speeds up your dead. One plus one speed per level. So that's a new blueprint. To view all available upgrades, click the ribbon marked with an arrow. Here you can build tower upgrades. You need ore for construction. I can't do that yet, so... Double magic skeleton? Yeah, skeleton shoots double magic. Capturing buildings. When your dead approaches objects like these on your map, they become yours. From now on, the captured object will generate mana, or gold, or body parts every morning. Okay. 
Wow. Skeleton arm with shield. Um, we can do like a knight skeleton. This one has boots. Skeleton leg with boot. Your revived dead are shown at the bottom. Click the dead's icon to open its parameters. Click on the icon to move the camera to the chosen dead. You can even give orders. Order the dead to stand still. The dead will now stay in position until you order different. I guess so if you want to play as one of your skeletons, you can. Explore. Tower is under attack. Enemies reached your tower and are attacking it. If its strength drops to zero, you will lose. Your dead located nearby will react automatically, but it's better to have some body parts in stock to revive the new defenders in time. Oh, you can actually... You can pause the game when needed. So we're gonna do... Uh, we'll do a skeleton with body armor. Resurrecting the dead costs mana. If you lack mana, you can burn unnecessary body parts. Throw unnecessary body parts into the mana extractor. You can also do this by right-clicking. Got one. Uncover the secrets of these lands. You've created several dead, so you should be able to survive here. Create more powerful servants, explore the lands, grow your power bit by bit, and find your way out of this trap. Well, the sensitivity on moving around... I guess you can click and hold, which is probably better. I just killed that skeleton. I think I got some mana for it, I'm not sure. Okay, so we're gonna put together another skeleton. With double swords. Double sword arm skeleton. And boot. 18 mana, I have just enough. Never mind, I needed a uh... Okay, I have the mana now. It's 23, so that's, I have just enough. The problem is the game looks cheap, but that's kind of what this genre is, the, the, the 299 like. It very well may be an asset flip, I don't know, I don't want to sp speak out of turn about it, but... The concept is cool, and I'm enjoying it so far, but it is very garlicky. Oh, we're, we're all the way up here. Increased, increases the growth of skeleton body parts, plus four to skeleton growth per level. Create the Hall of Bones. Create the Lightning Rod. Transforms the sky. Spits up your dead. I can upgrade the skeleton growth per level. Okay, we've got a problem. So we've got new parts. We've got orc body with armor. Orc uh, zombie head. Zombie arm with sword. Zombie arm with shield. And I guess boot. So the speed is 26 compared to this, which is speed 28. But this has more armor. to burn a couple body parts. And release. There it is. There's our weird orc scale. Oh my god. That's a weird looking thing. Uh, I gotta stop using WASD because it is way too sensitive. Okay. 
I mean, even that sound effect, I'm pretty sure I've heard in a thousand games. Use the damage of your dead, plus one damage per level. I feel like a mini-map would probably help. Then again, I guess zooming all the way out is the mini-map. It's gonna cost 20 to upgrade the damage. Alright, uh... Double crossbow... Oh. Uh, double crossbow orc? With a zombie body. And zombie legs. I want to see this motherfucker. Amazing. Eye in a jar gives all the dead a plus five vision bonus. I don't want to control this. Okay, weirdly, I'm stuck controlling this, and I don't know how to not. Explore. Okay, you have to do stand still, then explore. That's a little weird. have a new tower to increase skeleton uh, damage. I can save the procedure to assemble dead like this quickly next time. Oh. All save procedures are listed here. You can revive dead quickly by using save procedures and necessary body parts. Well, I don't know if I'm even generating good ones, but we've got zombie body with armor. We've got orc skeleton. Zombie arm with sword. Orc skeleton head with helmet. Zombie arm with armor and sword. Or we can do orc arm with throwing axe, and then we can do zombie arm with sword. Wow, look, look at it. Did you see it? Holy shit. How did it get that one arm so powerful, but not the others? Gee, I wonder. But yeah, as I said um, somewhat recently in another video, I, I don't know how many more of these types of things I want to play. I mean, they're so cheap, I don't even mind buying them and checking them out. I like seeing new games. The problem is, the fatigue of this type of game is starting to set in. This one is cool because it's pretty fucking different. Inexpensive. You build... Skeletons, the graphics aren't that amazing, but I can see how it would be addictive. Skeleton body with cloak. Skeleton arm with saber. Skeleton arm with shield. S arm with book of lightning? Oh. Make a wizard skeleton from this. Orc skeleton leg. Your dead found a portal. Click on it to activate. The fuck is this? The portal's been activated, now you could use it to release your dead. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, let's 
do orc skeleton body, orc skeleton arm with armor and throwing axe. Let's get orc arm with armor and mace. Uh, zombie head with helmet. One orc skeleton leg and one with a boot. I see. There we go. Yeah, fuck him up. Problem is, it's kind of hard to... Since the, the action is happening across so many different locations, it's hard to pay too much attention to one location. It's kind of almost... MOBA RTS-like in some ways. Improves your vision. Okay. Go for Hall of Bones as well. Orc skeleton head. Orc skeleton arm with shield. Orc body with armor. Orc skeleton arm with armor and mace. Orc skeleton leg with boot. Orc skeleton leg. That costs 63. But we're gonna have to release it here. You can even see wh where it looks like vampire survivors because they just automatically attack and stuff. This one orc is saving the entire town. Foundation for the return. I don't know what that means. Costs 500 gold. Alright. Alright, we need a new orc over there. A skeleton body. We can do skeleton body with armor. Orc skeleton body with armor. Armor and throwing axe. Armor and mace. Orc skeleton leg. Orc skeleton with helmet. This is gonna cost 66. I, I have enough. I have enough parts to burn. You found a secret recipe. You can release the dead from both towers and activated portals. Before releasing your dead, check the box. This I'll save. Orc Skell. Okay, we're gonna need another... We're, we're gonna need some more skeletons at the base. You did it, just barely, but you did it. 5% chance to get double mana when burning a body part.
harpy leg. Oh, things are getting weird now. One skeleton is still alive somehow. Harpy body. Ah! The Floppertons. Vampire head. Vampire arms. What do they do? Regenerates minus speed bat flock. They do. I don't have harpy arms, so I can't use those, but this'll this'll be fine. A vampire harpy, why not? Oh, it costs a lot, that's why not. Alright. Maybe we'll get some double mana, who knows. It flies. The card, you good for nothing. I almost feel like it's too much to pay attention to a little bit because there's there's so many things happening on the map all over the place. I feel like I'm like losing Zombertsons now because there's there's too much too much death. Vampire legs. They have high speed, high health. Uh, with... Orc skeleton body. With a book of lightning. And a sword. And we'll throw on a... Uh, orc skeleton head for the extra health. something good over here to help out. The vampire's keeping the castle defended. I mean the harpy... the, the harp... Oh, this is the same thing. Oops. That recipe is just there, always, once you unlock it. Hall of Bones, max level. I'm gonna create foundation for the return. Oh shit. Oh, we've got problems. We have massive problems. Okay. We need something now. Body with armor, harpy head. Sort button? Like most expensive, most powerful. That's going to cost one oh nine. I need to burn some stuff. I got lucky with some of the double mana. Cool looking creature. While this is happening, I think I'm just going to build a regular... Like a couple regular skeletons just to help out. I'm, I'm even going to save the design.
Skell. Or, or that's just a bone warrior. Yeah, we're we're fucked. Uh we are fucked. It's gonna cost one oh four. This is my last hope. I think what I need to do is have, like, one skeleton... One skeleton or so just chilling at the base. Like, I, I just make them stop. Yeah, no one's defending the goddamn base, which is a huge problem. that noise. Okay. Use gold to repair and upgrade devices and items. They will grant you new abilities and increase your chance at survival. Uh, I spent 500 on something. I don't even know what it does. Name this project The Return. You're still checking if... Just checking if you're still in your mind, right? Recording my log, don't interrupt. The first stage is the easiest one. Clear the site, prepare the foundation. Structure like this will not be able to stand on its own. It needs supports. Um... Okay. I bought the cat. It's a resource collecting cat. received your first spell. Wizard skeleton, regular skeleton. Start with that. Double sword skeleton. Oh, we still have these. And this. This is just here. So that's good. I didn't waste the money. It's less roguelite than I thought. Press the button to release the cat. That's, that's fun. something that can attack. I have no body parts that can attack right now. A 
I already had a skeleton on deck that I didn't even release by accident. Oops. So yeah, there's permanence to this, which I like. It's not, like, much to look at, but it's very addictive. As these things usually go. I'm gonna send one off over here and just see if anything interesting happens. I can send the cat, too, now. Cat is fast. Cat helps. Skeleton arm with book of ice. Okay, ice skeleton. My crossbow skeleton died. This is too difficult an area, I guess. There's some slimes on the way. I'm trying to... Get the skeleton up there. Maybe this could be the defense skeleton. Yeah, we need a patrol feature in this game, I think. Maybe it exists, but I don't know. Zombie body has more strength than normal. Fucking good. That, that's quite bad, in fact. This, this is the thing I don't like about this game, is it should be easier to, to get units back to help. Because I don't even have any money to, to build anything worthwhile right this second. explored too quickly. Maybe, like, I, I went too far too soon. Yeah, because that, it's that boss mainly, that little mini boss thing. Skeleton, please return and help. I guess I should have been using this cat more. Oops. Can this orc save the game? Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, these, these motherfuckers are tough. I don't know where they're coming from. This will not last long. The cat summon is is very useful though, and I, I sh it's underutilized. I didn't use it as much as I should have. Very helpful. At this point, I'm just building anything. Just, just anything I could. Things are still happening over here. These two skeletons have been like steadily exploring and conquering the entire time. So that's, that's good. And yes, you can have them stand still. So I'm gonna have this dude stand still over here, just just to shoot. It's not much, but maybe it'll help a little bit. Orc leg with boot. Those are some pretty thick orc legs. Age Armory increases damage of your dead. This castle is fucked. Yeah, we need to try that again. That was that was poop from the start. I can like buy a cup. I can't really buy anything right now, but. Oh well, that's okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna spawn them here until I'm comp uh, confident I can actually go to other areas. It's amazing how these fucking cheap games, I don't mean just in price, but they can be so fucking good and addictive. So you can spend four dollars or three dollars and end up getting many, many more hours than you would like a triple A game. And I love triple A games, too. I'm not shitting on triple A or, you know, major developers. If they make good games and many of them do, I'm in. But it's just... I'm like looking at the visuals of this and I'm laughing to myself. I'm like, this I'm playing right now? I have this computer that can run almost any video game made at the moment and I'm playing this and I'm enjoying it. He loves it. Got 
this uh, sword and crossbow skeleton. Yeah, I think I was just a little overzealous earlier, and I sent skeletons too far, and I was getting w difficult enemies. send the cat out from someplace else. Maybe it's only here. I mean, it's still helpful. But yeah, I'm doing... This is much better, because that scummy enemy from before isn't here now. The growth of the skeleton body parts, plus four to skeleton growth per level. So that that's already better than what I had earlier. Let's see if I can go for a full zomb. I just need a zombie leg, and then I can make full zomb. to the castle. Zombie arm with armor and shield. That's a rare part. Oh, wait, is it? I don't know. Maybe it is. I don't, I don't know. Zombie body with armor. Zombie hero. Transforms the sky energy and speeds up your dead, right? Plus one to regeneration level with fertilizer. Okay, orc stuff. I just need some orc skeleton legs. Ah, oh, shit. Never mind. Bantling Shorty Skeleton, Revival Cost minus 10, Health plus 40, Speed 3. That's, that's fun. I love generic medieval midi loop. That is now a problem. Hmm. 
Jesus. Dude just got instantly killed. Uh, that's, that's a huge problem, because I can't afford to put together anything right now. Your sacrifice will be remembered, zombie. There needs to be better ways to defend the base, or at least have some enemies patrol, because if you have them stand still, they're going to get attacked. And I don't feel like having the player control their units to defend their base is, like, a wise thing to do, because it's just going to, like, interrupt the flow of the game, and honestly, playing the game with WASD when you're using the mouse the whole time kind of sucks. Um, I don't even know what to do right now, so... I like how that orc just stepped into combat. It's like, ah, yes, death. They do come back to the base, but they, they don't... Uh, they're so slow, it takes forever. zombie that sucks. Oh, man. I have to hope this works, because I'm going to have to sell, like, everything in order to have it. In order to even have it. Probably the end of that. This monstrosity will save us. Kinda did. Yeah, they're off fighting harpies by now. Or whatever level enemy is generating this stuff. And I can barely afford it. I can't afford it, really. While they do that, then this happens.
I think the game does expect you to take control. Because when you when you control your um, Skellington, you can make it not stupid. But also, I feel like I spent most of my time looking at my base and not watching the skeletons go on a murderous rampage. Which I think is kind of a problem. So I think patrols and like some level of intelligent defense, like being able to just assign a skeleton to defense, would be really great. Okay, uh, we're having problems again, so let's see. Um, orc skeleton leg. Harpy wing with steel feathers. Harpy head. And I'm gonna have such a shitty body for this. It's just gonna be regular skeleton body. Also, the camera does not follow you around when you move around like this. So you can just happily walk off screen. Dead. Okay, um... I'm just building whatever I can. Just DPS. was all for nothing. And yet I'm compelled to keep playing. Produces a few bones every morning from the necromancer's table, or allows you to smite enemies with a lightning spell, enables acid fog spell. I want that one. Just anything to help, really. Mushroom fellas, very good. I just wanted to see what it did, and it is exactly what I was hoping it would be. Problem is, I just wasted it. Probably has a long cooldown. Quite a bit of a cooldown. 
It's like an emergency. I mean, the lightning spell is probably really good. Capture the crypt, very good. This one wizard is out on his own trying to capture this. Alright. Good luck. Increases vision. Is that good though? Like part of me feels like that's a really great way to increase the amount of enemies that know you exist. That's probably fine. Stock standard zombie. I'm not going to use the spell yet. Shoot skeleton. Plus 10 HP per level. That's, that's very helpful. Okay, we, we get some orc stuff coming in. Because again, this is part Necromancer Simulator, part Tower Defense. It, it's a weird mix. I like, the, I like the genre mixing here, but I don't, I don't have a, a good grasp of it just yet. And I think it still needs a little bit of work. Zombie arm, armor, and shield. Uh, zombie legs. Zombie head. And uh, I guess we'll... Orc arm. Why not? Zombie Mutant. Wow. Just 
finding all these combinations. Create another one too, but it's going to be a little while before I can get there. Armor and shield. Wait, how does this one attack? Yes, cat, go. But yeah, I don't I don't really want to like have to manually control my my skeletons and stuff so that they don't go to the most high leveled area possible. That's gonna take a lot to uh It's worth it. You just right click to, to not have be in control of the uh, skeleton anymore. go again. Welcome to the death zone. Legs too slow. do so well the first time. Is it just beginner's luck? It does happen. It's like, is it even worth building bone warriors at this point? Oh god. Oh god. There's like no recall button. See, my, my shit's being attacked, and it's taking them this long to turn around and go defend it. And I just have to accept the death, I guess, again. Yeah, 
skeleton is is absolutely not fast enough. Alright. That's that. Deals damage to a small group of enemies. Click the spell button, hover over the enemies, and click left mouse button. Doing something wrong. I don't think I'm pressing the right buttons. There you go. Live. Live more. Down to three skeletons. Jesus. Yeah, seriously, this is like... How, how did I do so well the first time? Down to three skeletons again, what the fuck, dude? Dude, what the fuck, Pepe Sylvia, dude? Okay, that's that's dead. Um, now we can start getting regeneration. It's 
It's a shame there isn't like, you can't like click and, and say attack so they can like a group can go. I, mean, I guess that would turn it into an RTS and this genre is not about giving the player control. But like, I can't do other things while I'm trying to do this to take over this area. shield. Shields do work. attack this. Very good. Could use a little help over there. Maybe. No? No one wants to help? Alright. your dead more viable, plus 10 HP per level. Okay, um... Zombie ar uh, body with armor. Some zombie legs. Guess we could do the Book of Ice. this dude here just so I can use him when needed. Maybe that's the play? This really should- this, this layer needs to be destroyed. Expensive, but I think worth it. Right. 
they did it. They destroyed it. What are these? Prevents your control over the dead in a small radius. Oh. Fun. Right, this is going slightly better. I still have these like shitty low level skeletons still doing useful stuff, which is cool. But how is that even possible? <laughs> How have the, how hath they survived this long? That's my question. Still good. Still have my spells too if needed. Collect them resources. Many skeletons, orc skeletons to help out. I needed to use that lightning. Probably gonna have to, uh, unless these three can handle it. I guess we'll see. I think they can, but they're very, very slow. a little bit of a windfall here. Got a new warp zone. Starting to get harpy stuff again. These shorty skeletons that I've <laughs> I've been doing, uh, they are very interesting. Okay, we got vampire stuff. Oh, I forgot to upgrade the the skeletons. Um, There we go, much better. Thank you. 
I think we're, we're in good shape. Maybe. I just need a harpy body. So I'm, I'm waiting for that to show up. It's a solid group over there. Okay. Got it. Oh, costs a lot. Okay, uh... Motherfucker! Motherfucker! God damn it, it was going so well. Next level is cooldown 80 seconds, duration 40 seconds for the cat. That sounds pretty great. I'll get the necromancer's table though. Let's get some extra bones. Yeah, defense is still kind of tough. And it, it went quick. That thing fell very, very quickly. Okay, uh, I'll just make whatever the fuck random skeleton I can. Double magician skeleton. I would like to upgrade the speed more. I don't know why I can't upgrade speed more than the amount there. But yeah, 40 seconds of cat sounds great. Magic zombie. Ooh. Lightning and ice. Zombie just dropped. Okay. Beavis and Butthead, maybe you two need to read up on how to be a proper necromancer, okay?
Yes, destroy this thing. Destroy the spawner. Very good. Alright, regeneration. Good regeneration seems vital. Vital-ish. Ah. It's a strange wizard zombie hybrid with a sword and a magic wand. Goblin workshop. Shop. Um, several goblins living in this workshop can repair your tower. Plus one to tower repair per level. afford this. There you go. Piss off. Still can't afford no, uh, goblins. The goblins? Goblin. Oof. why we would release this here, but I'm going to try that. Okay, uh, got problems again? The Gabos are definitely helping. This 
over here there's just like a bunch of rare resources and stuff like or maybe or I don't know Kill Squad released. Maybe we could do a, a, a Harpy Orc hybrid. Costs 105, holy fuck. How'd this go over here? Still going. Maybe it was useful to do that. Vampire body. Bat's ability. Wow, now it's way more expensive. Harpy head with helmet, even more way more expensive. I guess we can we can just build your stock standard harpy. We'll need to sell a few things, but more than a few, in fact. So if we had 40 seconds of cat, the amount of resources we'd be collecting would be great. That's gonna be a problem. Maybe I shouldn't be focusing on Harpy. This game is too hard. better be good. We're down to like, I have three skeletons left, three units. Amazing. Instantly dead. Damn, son. It's tough. I've upgraded the cat. You can get a full minute of cat with the next upgrade. I'll, I'll do one more. I think one more is good, then I'm gonna live my life and make some dinner and stuff, so... Addictive, as I expected it to be, of course.
But yeah, that whole time, I was able to build skeletons while I, my cat collected resources. That's pretty neat. It's already halfway to next cat. Skeleton growth per level. I like that one. That's a good starting one. Another spawner dead. damage per level increase. And yet another spawner right over there. And they're gonna go for it, too. I kind of feel like the music isn't very fitting, but yet I like it. too far. Uh, I don't know what to do. Skeleton Witch Hunter. Revival cost minus two. View plus one, damage plus one. That's that's nice. Stick with zombies for now. This one's a tower repair. Make a zombie mutant, but it's gonna take a while, so I'm gonna sell some stuff. These are like combos at McDonald's. This one's got two shields. Oh, 
Not really a whole lot you can do with two shields, hey friend. A friend, rather. A Luigi? A? use an orc body before I build this. Oh, shit. Waste of lightning. Need orc body, please. Need orc body. Nope. Fine, it'll do. What am I even doing right now? So I need I need some stuff. Um, should I build a repair tower? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. I've got many things to sell. doing their their thing down here skeleton level upgraded fuck is coming from I've got. Need one more skeleton orc thing or anything powerful, and I'd be happy. Oh, a spaceship? What the hell is the spaceship? I guess nothing. Why are there spaceships in this game? Fuck. More skeleton growth, please.
one more thing. Need something good. Or I could just do that. I don't want zombie arm, I need skeleton orc arm of some kind. Pairs. Sorry, I just took my headphones off for a second. Okay, now we can start building some repairs. Uh, I need more skeleton orc arms. They're really good, but I, I want them to have powerful weapons. There we go. Got one. one regeneration level. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Good. Okay. Still missing an arm. So we'll, we'll give some magic. Man, I have a lot of random stuff. It's good, I can sell it. Now we're, we're making some progress here, I think. You've been down here this whole time. Jesus. Collecting resources. What, what an MVP. Still no good orc weaponry. Waiting for that. I think we'll get there soon enough. Shield, but that, that's not going to help with the attacking. Yeah, destroy this fucking enemy spawner. Yeah. MVP cat plus two to zombie growth per level. Getting some vampire stuff, which means stronger enemies inbound, but that's alright. As long as we're as long as we're getting upgrades, I'm happy. I'm gonna build a bat orc. There's, there's not a ton of enemies coming to the tower, which is great. 
He's capturing all this crap. Okay, uh, skeleton orc throwing arm, that's fine. So we'll build this, this vampire orc. It looks awful. Don't care. Okay, vampire arm, harpy body, harpy head, harpy leg, vampire leg, harpy wing. This is half harpy, half vampire, and it's going to be amazing, isn't it? It's amazing. Look at it. I'm going to do tower repair upgrade. hurt to get another orc. Ah, skeleton orc berserk. <laughs> oh, something died. Oh, these these villagers are really powerful. Wow, they're just, yep. Just killing my stuff. Not fast enough. I gotta sell some unnecessary stuff. I don't know where to drag that to to sell it all in one go, if even such a thing is possible, I'm not sure. That. Let's see what other. That. Dead. 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 Jesus, fuck. What the hell is this? A new enemy layer. Oh, that's exactly what I need right now, thanks. Vision, we don't want that. Instantly dead. Alright. And I don't have my spells, so I can't use those. So this thing's gonna kill my, my harpies and shit. Okay. I can make a bone warrior. Well, that, that seems a little unfair. I was already struggling, and then this happens? Instantly dead, once again. Ooh, 
Oof. Welp. Produces six high-quality uh, skeleton body parts. Produces four random zombie body parts every morning. Um, this blueprint decoder enhances the quality of blueprints found in destroyed enemy layers. Maybe we'll just do one more. Just one more, just to see what, what that is like. Even though that enhanced body part thing sounds great. So this game has the just one more effect. But yeah, just one more. Screw dinner. Plus 20 HP per level. But yeah, those zombie parts, getting a bunch of them every level, they'll just sell for more. Tree of the Materials Cat. But it makes me wonder, does the cat, like, expose enemy spawners too quickly? Maybe that's a problem that I've been ignoring. We need to, to get that up there, because that brings new mana every morning. Frankly, I have no idea why we weren't going up there. Plus four to orc skeleton growth per level. Ah! That would help me tremendously because I use orc skeletons frequently. Scapula. I wonder if anyone knows what I'm referencing when I say angry scapula. There's got to be a couple people. Ooh. It's not that obscure a reference. Quickly. Slime spawner needs to go. Looks like that's where they're headed, so. You 
can do it. You can do it. I believe in you, skeleton. I can- you can do it! There's a skeleton orc. There we go, now we got some... ...some big dick power. Food makes your dead more viable, plus 10 HP. I'm just gonna try to keep going for those, um... Well, armor is always good. That's- that's any unit gets the armor, but... Skeleton Orcs are my specialty at the moment. friend. Alright. Probably shouldn't have sold that. Oh, oh well. save so I can uh, save my ore so I can get the skeleton orc level up again. Uh, speaking of, we can build more. Getting many parts. I This is just seems to be a good run, kind of. Maybe I'm just getting extra lucky. speed of these. This is 36 speed as opposed to 38. But these have armor. It's fine, I guess. More powerful skeleton orcs. I wonder if I get the benefits of Skeleton Orc. If I... use mostly Skeleton Orc. But like if I add something else to it, like a vampire arm. skeleton from the beginning is still doing good stuff. Give him some more HP. What are these harpy legs again? They are speed 33, health 80. Vampire legs give regeneration, so that's really good. Oh, a bunch of my... People died. A 
now. Yeah, these motherfuckers are tough. Least regeneration. Alright, uh... Start with that. And we'll get that. Then we'll get another one of those. Need to sell again. Okay. Um, we'll get a Berserker as well. Why not? We'll get another Berserker. I can afford it. Let's afford it. And we release. Just in time, too. Like, seriously, just in fucking time. Extra armor. They can't. These enemies are so fucking tough, they can barely even handle them. generation. Is this the Jelly Bean King? What the fuck is going on here? Definitely need my mana back so I can... or these spells back because shit's getting a little real. A little too real. Save my ore, so I can upgrade the orcs further. They need it. Just still adventuring over here. Die. 
Die, 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 die. Jesus. Still going. Um. Hmm. my orcs. The base is safe. Uh, we're not making a whole lot of progress because these spawners are, are fucking crazy right now, but... Not enough either. Jesus. Mm. Okay, that was instant death. That's that's a problem. Need you lot to come back down here, please. Again, if, if only there was a way I could, like... You know, select all. But yeah, there, we're gonna, we're gonna lose here, I think. Uh... It's a shame. It's a little better that time. I don't- I'm good. Now I actually do have to go. Um... Okay, yeah, I mean, I wasn't sure how much I would like this game from the beginning, but I'm gonna say now that I, I think it's actually pretty good. Allows you to teleport your dead to the tower. It's right fucking there. Jesus. It's right there. Next time. Uh, yeah, I mean, you get a lot of value for the, uh, your buck, but I, I would say that, you know, for two ninety nine, it's one of those games that you kind of... Even if you don't like it, it's not that big of a deal, but I do like it. I actually think it's very addictive. Uh, could use some polishing. Maybe a way to select units, but I guess that's that was an upgrade that I just totally missed. So, that being said, I wonder how the next time around things will go. That wasn't a good sentence, but I do wonder how it will go, because now I can summon my dead back to the base. So, um, anyway, thank you for watching. Again, I know I show off a lot of stuff lately, and it's just, this Full Sauce channel is just New game, new game, new game, new game. I enjoy it, and I will say that this one was more hit than miss, definitely. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing future updates for it. It definitely uh, has its own identity in the world of garlic likes, and as a result, I think it makes a good companion piece to Vampire Survivors compared to, you know, something else that you may just get the same game. This one's different enough, it feels more like a real-time strategy, which is cool. Anyway, goodbye everybody, thank you for watching. Remember, upgrade your skeleton balls.